Every young person I know, in my school, every one of the young person I know, between the ages of 25 and 35, every single one is on some sort of antidepressant. Zoloft, Restatol. Everybody's depressed. By the way, not one antidepressant. I don't want to embarrass people in the room. So if you're between 25 and 35, you're probably, I'm serious, it's no joke, you're on a cocktail of antidepressants. You're on about two or three, sometimes four or five. Everybody's an antidepressant, but our society is so terrific. Mr. Moore, it's so terrific. We have nothing to learn from Muslims. They're so backward, they're so primitive. No, I, I can't really go for that. There are many things that go on the Muslim community, in particular the social solidarity, the respect for adults, the respect for family, uh, and I've had many personal, you know, very, uh, uh, very uh, inspiring experiences. Even once, I remember I was with a Muslim family in an event like this. The fellow was about 26 years old, and we walked out of the event. It was like started panic. Where's my mom? Where's my mom? Okay, it's like 30 seconds, mom just walked away. Um, and this kind of sense of familial responsibility, and I mentioned it to him in the car. And he said to me, well, in the Quran it says, after God are your parents, or after God is your family. Um, you know, in the West, in the West, uh, it's after God. Uh, well, there's no God. <laughs> in place of the God, in place of the God, we put our parents in the nursing home. Uh, that's how we handle the situation of our parents. We throw them away, and anyone who's been in one of those places, if it gets pretty as you want to call it, and have flowers all over the wall, there's this big invisible neon sign that says, waiting to die. That's what the nursing home is. Um, for those who are honest about it. So, I, I'm not going to be condemnatory. I think people can be as fanatical in their secularism as they can be fanatical in their religion. And the fact of the matter is, in the 20th century, most of the crimes in the 20th century, in the 20th century, most of the big crimes were committed by secular maniacs, bureaucratic maniacs. Uh, and not uh, religious maniacs. The crimes in the 20th century in the name of religion are, relatively speaking, they're relatively marginal, minor. Uh, the ones committed by the secular maniacs, uh, the world wars and so forth, uh, they were committed by um, uh, non-religious people at all.